Hello, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Kiss Pattern here. Um, made a video a couple weeks ago, um, explaining a couple things. But today is it's New Year's Eve right now, so Happy New Year to all of you. I mean, I'm in my room right now. It's how New Year's goes for me nowadays. But whatever. Um, last year I made a video about my 2015 year. Tonight I'm gonna make a video about 2016. Okay. It wasn't nearly as eventful, but there were some things that happened. Okay. Saying that, nothing really happened for me until... Mar er, uh, May? I th yeah, May. Okay. So nothing really happened, and then May came around, and for those of you who don't know, um, Machine Gun Kelly, MGK, is my current favorite music artist. Okay? I really connect to his music, and... I had been wanting to see him in concert for the longest fucking time, and he was coming to Traverse City, you know, out about an hour away from me, and I have a friend who's about equally as into him as I am, and we decided we'd go, so we did. Um, there were complications, and we were staying with his friend in Charlotte, which is like about an hour away from there, and we also had two other people that lived in Cairo City, which took about an hour, an hour and a half to get both of them back home after the concert. So we ended up leaving early before he even came, before MTK even came on. And we didn't even get to see who we went who I paid like $150 all the way to see. So that sucked. It was a good experience. I met some cool people, but hey, I didn't get to see Machine Man Kelly like I really, really wanted to, you know? Um and then I started really working um, over the summer. You know, I was good, making good money. Most of the time now, but um, and then my buddy Jake, down in Florida, I met him at college. We had talked the last time I was down there about me coming down there for a few days, hanging out for after my 21st birthday. So I did. It was a good trip. It really was. It was a good experience. I told him that I was ready to have you drink with him and his buddy, and then we got to the bar, the night we were bar hopping, and I don't know, I, I, just, I just wasn't feeling it, if that makes sense. Um, I had a couple drinks, but not as much as I had planned to, you know? It was, it was a weird atmosphere for me, I had never been in that kind of atmosphere before, um, so I guess that was part of it. Um, other than that, oh. In October, um, I went back down to Ohio for a weekend, you know, a place where I grew up. And last time I went down there, it was pretty good, except for one mistake of keeping me at a party. Um, yeah, I went down there this time, it was a lot worse, to be honest with you. Um, most of it I just sat in my aunt's apartment, because that's who I was staying with, on the couch watching horror movies and shit. Um, I got to hang out with my best friend since, like, kindergarten. William for a few hours, but we didn't really do anything extravagant, really. Um, the part that pissed me off with my other buddy, we had planned to hang out with my friends since, like, beginning of seventh grade, so, like, nine, almost eight, nine, almost nine years ago. Uh, and he's like, oh yeah, I got jokes, and he's in the Marines and stuff, and I'm like, okay, I understand. Can't hang out. It's cool. And then I see a post, Saturday night is my last night there, and I see a post from his fiance, girlfriend, Saturday night out. So, either, I, I, I understand, girlfriend, fiance is important, they just like felt betrayed and abandoned, if that makes sense. Um, I don't want to sound selfish, but I just felt abandoned. Like, I don't know how else to describe it, other than abandoned and stuff like that, it's just the post. So I went to the store and got a 24 ounce wedge, looked at Apuleo, and got drunk. I know it's not a good way to deal with it, but I'm 21. Sue me. But yeah, now it's New Year's. Um, I haven't really done anything too extravagant. Um, I did, I think I did meet a girl. I, don't hate me. Um, I've met a lot of girls, um, so I thought, and then it doesn't turn out to be anything like I thought it would, 
but this one it's it's looking good uh, I'm not gonna say names or anything just because but the funniest part is how I met her there was this guy doing a video for his somewhat some number of million subscriber special and at a ending section with like a bunch of like friends and fans and stuff saying what his videos did for him what they meant to him and she was in there and so was her twitter so i uh i slid into the dms as they say nowadays and we've been talking ever since and she was in canada okay i'm in michigan um we've been talking and we both she said she'd be happy to have me, and I think I'm going to turn it up there until 2017 sometime. Can't wait, because she's fucking awesome, you know? Rough gamers, all that good shit. Um, so yeah, 2016, not the best year, I'll be honest with you. 2015, I think, was worse. But, 2016 was still pretty bad. Um, 2017, you know. 2017 should be a good year. I said that last year, but I really think so this time. Okay, like I said, I got the trip to Canada I want to do. I'm going to go back down to Florida for another few days to uh, visit Jake again. Um, Demon, if you know him, from my Xbox back here. It's been kind of like five, five and a half years now. Um, he's turning 21 next year, and he lives in Minnesota. And I want to try and go over there and be there for his 21st birthday. Be the first time we ever meet in person. I got a lot of trips I want to do. Plus, I'm just going to try and make money, save money, and yeah, move on with my life, hopefully. But yeah, I'm sorry if this one was a little shorter and more rushed than last year. I, just, I don't know, I don't really have much to talk about. Um, but uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Happy New Year. Please like, or subscribe, rate, comment. Any feedback will be epically awesome. I am Keith Alvin. I see you guys another time, and peace.